She welcomed her second child with husband Hugo Taylor at the end of November last year. And Millie McIntosh posed in a leopard print crop top and leggings on Friday as she frankly discussed motherhood struggles and thinking about a return to work. The doting mother of two, 32, took to Instagram to share the image as baby Aurelia slept in a papoose on her chest. Millie flashed a hint of her midriff in the sportswear as she posed for the mirror selfie. She wrote in the caption, It's the start of a new year and I'm, very, slowly starting to think about work, but if I'm honest I'm still struggling with baby brain and my days are filled with feeding, explosive nappies and endless tidying of toys. But I'd love to know what you come here to see? And what you would like to see more of from me this year? Hashtag Numamofwo Hashtag Postpartum it comes after earlier this week Millie took to her Instagram to open up about her struggles with mastitis, an inflammation of breast tissue common when breastfeeding. The Maid in Chelsea star gave birth to her second daughter eight weeks ago with a planned C-section, however Millie revealed she is currently struggling with breastfeeding due to blocked milk ducts. The new mum revealed she even asked her husband Hugo, who she has Aurelia and their eldest daughter Sienna, 20 months with, to try sucking out the blockage but quipped he is not keen. Sharing her journey with her one. 4 million followers she said, hi everyone, just a little update, thank you so much for all your advice on mastitis. I've had so many lovely messages and I'm on antibiotics. I went to a women's health physio yesterday and had a really painful but effective massage and that has definitely helped a little bit. And also they used an ultrasound machine to help break down the blockage. The area is still sore but it's actually not red anymore because the area was bright red, so that's good. She laughed, I have asked Hugo to try sucking out the blockage but he is not keen so we won't be trying that. But what I am going to try today is Epsom salts with hot water in a hacker pump because loads of you said to try that. So I will keep you posed on how we are getting on. According to Mayo Clinic, Mastitis most commonly affects women who are breastfeeding, but it can also occur in women who aren't breastfeeding and in men. Symptoms of mastitis include breast pain, swelling, warmth and redness, and fever and chills. It is normally caused by bacteria from the skin's surface or from a baby's mouth entering the milk ducts through a crack in the skin of the nipple. Stagnant milk in a breast that isn't emptied provides a breeding ground for the bacteria, which is why it often develops when a woman has clogged milk ducts. Milk ducts can become clogged due to poor drainage, according to Healthline. You might experience one if your breast isn't completely emptied after a feed, if your baby skips a feed, or if you're under stress. It comes after Millie revealed she had a tough time at the end of her pregnancy when she caught norovirus. The mom of two shared a post on her Instagram page, detailing Aurelia's birth story. Sharing photos from her time in hospital, Millie explained, Firstly let me say that my birth experience was really positive, the playlist I made when I had Sienna was playing in the background. Hugo was there and I felt totally calm and ready, but that wasn't the case in the few weeks before. She revealed that a bout of illness in her final two weeks of pregnancy led to a hospital stay. I was admitted to hospital two weeks before my C-section was booked in as they thought I was in early labor and having contractions brought on by throwing up after I caught the norovirus. Naturally I went into panic mode as I felt so unprepared and nervous, plus Sienna was poorly at home with hand foot and mouth and I knew she needed her mama, 
Millie admitted that it was seriously bad timing, I was monitored overnight and pumped full of fluids as I got really dehydrated, but thankfully it was a false alarm so I was discharged to go home again. The little scare made the star really appreciate the last two weeks of my pregnancy and I just focused on feeling fit and well, and spending time with Sienna and Hugo. As a serial planner it freaked me out thinking the baby was coming early but luckily my second c-section was everything that I hoped it would be and just magical. I asked to drop the curtain and watch Aurelia be born, which was an incredible moment that I will treasure forever. I can't thank the amazing staff at the Kensington Wing enough for their care and support, during both of my stays, she ended her post.